my YouTube friends. Well, here's another Patreon video for you. I'm going to be giving you one every Friday. As a patron on the Patreon channel, A Better Life with Cat, you will get five of these videos every single week. Another bonus is that there are no advertisements on the Patreon channel and I have the ability to answer your questions and comment if I think it's appropriate. On the YouTube channel, you'll notice I just give you a little heart that lets you know that I've read your comment and I really appreciate it. I just don't have the ability to answer all of your questions on the YouTube channel. So come on over, it's only $5 a month, no advertising, and I think you'll really enjoy it and we'd love you to be part of our Patreon family. Thanks again for watching and always remember that you are beautiful. Hello patrons, today I'm going to talk to you about organizing your thoughts. Recently on YouTube, one of the things that came up in our conversation was, how do I stay focused? And I referred the person to an older video I have called um, Ping Pong Balls, something like that. But it made me think that maybe I should give you a video like that. And interestingly enough, shortly after thinking that thought, I ran across someone else's video that had nothing to do with organizing your thoughts, but it was about the flammability of ping pong balls and the fact that at one point, ping pong balls were so flammable that a certain amount of friction could actually ignite them. And they're very easily ignited because of what they're made from. So I don't want you going down in flames because you haven't got your ping pong balls organized. So let's talk about it again, how to organize your thoughts if you are one of those people who has little ideas like popcorn going off in your head or ping pong balls bouncing off the sides of your brain, right? So here's what we're going to do. At the beginning of every day, I want you to take, you can take your spiral bound notebook, you know I love these, um, and just jot down a bunch of things. What do you want to do today? What do you want to get done? Write it down. What's popping in your brain? Oh, I need to take the dog to the groomer and I want to bake a cake and I need to do my weekly home blessing hour and I've got to pick Johnny up from tennis lessons and, 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 and. Okay, so you write everything down you can possibly think of that you need to do today, okay? And then you're going to prioritize those things. So Johnny is definitely something we wanna do. So we're gonna move that to the priority. You don't have to move it, but that's a priority. Baking a cake, why do you need to bake a cake? What's the reason for that? Is it important? Is it someone's birthday? If it's someone's birthday and it needs to be done today, it's a priority. If not, let's put it down at the bottom. Let's move it really low because it may not be something you'll have time to do today, but maybe you'll have time tomorrow. Next thing is whatever. You know, you're just gonna prioritize and you'll discover you usually only have six things or so that are really priorities, but it seems like so much more when it's in your head bouncing around, right? It seems like so much more because it is bouncing around and repeating and repeating. So when you pick something to do, let's say the most important thing for you to do first, because you don't have to pick Johnny up till the afternoon and you don't have to you know, do these other things until later. First thing we're gonna do our weekly home blessing hour. It takes one hour. So you put that at the top and you start doing your weekly home blessing hour with a timer, 10 minutes for every task. And in the middle of the third one, you think, I really need to get that cake baked. Now in the old days, yesterday, you would have dropped the broom, gone to the kitchen and started making a cake or even gone to the store to buy the things for the cake. But this way, when you've got it on your list, you can say, nope, that's, and you keep working, nope, that's on my list, that's after I do the weekly home blessing hour. I have total time to do the weekly home blessing hour, and you keep going until it's done. Mark it off your list. The next thing on your list might be to bake the cake, all right? So now, you say, now is the time for me to bake the cake and whatever that entails. If you have to go to the store, you forgot to buy the stuff, whatever, you have to have a birthday cake, okay? So you make the cake, you know how long it's gonna take. In the middle of making the cake, you're gonna think, oh no, I've got to check Johnny's folder, right? Or whatever it is. In the old days, yesterday, you would have dropped the spoon, the beaters, whatever, got, or left it in the oven baking and maybe have forgotten about it and maybe it burns. Uh, and gone to check Johnny's folder, which would have led to, led to another thing, and another thing is the ping pong balls fire in your head. So this way you're going to say, no, Johnny's folder's on my plan, 
I'm going to finish this. Or if you never thought about Johnny's folder and in the middle of doing this you think, oh, I've got to check Johnny's folder, you can stop for a minute to write it on your list and say, you know what? Johnny's folder doesn't have to be turned in until tomorrow. I can do it. I can do it right here. And you put it in, right? So go back and finish your cake. Next, what's the next thing on your list? Maybe it's Johnny's folder. So, and then at some point, it's three o'clock, we have to take, uh, pick Johnny up from tennis lessons or whatever. That's how you plan your day. And you take those things, once you've gotten them on your book, right, and you've organized them, then you put them in your planner or your control journal or whatever it is you're using, or even if it's just your spiral notebook. But that's what you do, and that's how you follow a plan. Now, you've got a basic plan already. You already know that you're going to do your morning routine, you're gonna do your laundry, you're gonna do your paper routine, um, you know that you're going to do your basic weekly plan item in this example, weekly home blessing hour, and you know you're going to do your monthly item. And I'll just say kitchen because at, uh, at this, actually no, it's um, bathroom in one other room when I'm recording this. But anyway, whatever it is, whatever the zone is, you're going to do that. That's a priority. That's a priority to get done first. But if there's something pressing that overrides that priority, like you have to take Johnny to school at nine or to the orthodontist at 9 30 and that's normally when you do your weekly home blessing hour you move it down you just adjust it but try to make that a priority because you want to get that out of the way so you can take care of everything else so that's ping pong balls that's when we lose our way it's because the ping pong balls are going off in our heads just going off so we want to stop that immediately get ourselves a list, prioritize it, put it in our planner, mark them off as we do it. That's how you stay organized. That's how you stay on task. That's how you stop following the squirrels, okay? Have a wonderful day and be beautiful because you are beautiful.